Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we're let's playing Dragon Quest Eight. It would only have now back into another disaster. Calderasha. I'm sorry, Mr. Calderasha, sir. I don't follow. If you you're saying about? you knew about the fire, shouldn't you at least have yeah. warned Master Rylus? We need to find him, and now we can't find him. Yes, poor Rylus. How many times I argued with the old man. I cannot believe I can't gone. believe he's gone either. Now we got no one to look for. Oh, the... Man, it's just bad news after another. Yeah. He did. He was talking about Rylus. Yeah, fortune tellers don't charge for a chat. You're right, Yangus. Let's yip yap with him. Hey, bartender. You're sad. Calderasha, we need your help. What happened with Rylus? Why was this place burned down? What? What is it? <laughs> you! Whoa. Come. Show your face to the great Calderasha. Yes. Yes. What are you talking about, man? Uh-oh. What's, what's going on? Quick! Quick! Everyone come quick! There's a monster in town! Oh no, there's monsters in town? Just come and see! The whole town's gone crazy! Oh, great. Now everyone's... We better go see what's going on. Now the Rasha, why don't you go see what's going on? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, w what'd you want to tell me? Come on, man. Oh, come on. Alright, let's go see what that monster... Let's go see... Check out what that monster's doing. But before we do that, let's check uh, the other two areas. Okay, we haven't checked the house near the... The well, which is back here, and the well. As in other Dragon Quest games, we can go down said well. And look, there's treasure. We get ourselves a leather shield. Sweet. Kenshin can use that right away. The only problem I have with, uh, so far, coming back and playing this game, is that, uh, you know, they put this stuff right in the bag. Sometimes it would be better if they just put it in Kenshin's equipment. So yeah, let's just equip it right now. Oh, it didn't equip? Okay, here we go. So as you can see in the bottom area right there, it'll show you how much uh, defense or attack power you're going to go up or down. So it went up plus four. That's pretty good. And eventually I'll use that defense seed. Let's check out this house. Oh, the door is locked. What the frick? All right, let's go see what's going on with that monster. Must be pretty serious. They got the serious music playing. Run, Kenshin, run! Let's find out what this monster is. Let's go! We gotta find out where I'm assuming it's in the square over here. So let's check it out. The old square. See what's all the hubbub about with the monster. Hey, monster! Where are you? We're gonna put an end to you. Where are you? Oh. What the? Come on, go. Good, Gav. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Look lively. This can't be good. Hey, what are you guys still? Uh... Oh, it's just trode. Leave him alone. He looked at me. Oh, it's ugly. Hey, he might be ugly, but get out, get out, monster! You're not welcome here. Oh, don't throw rocks at him. Aww. Aww. Poor Trode. Leave him alone. There you go. Medea stands in front of Trode, protecting her dad. That is some HS right there. Which actually... Hey. You guys are jerks. Don't judge a book by its cover. Now we're stuck outside. With no Rylus either. And no nothing to go on. We're gonna have to figure out what to do next, huh? What the frig? Well, 
That was a fine reception. Yeah, that Do you stunned. realize who I am? <laughs> Judging a book yeah, by its cover, that. don't they know it's what's inside that counts? Yeah, but you, yeah, you can say that again. You can say that again. Look at Yangus. So then, did you manage to find Master Rylus? Uh, yeah, he's kind of uh, dead. He's dead? Oh no, no, no! Yeah, he's dead. This is not good. We don't have anything to go off of. No clues where well, Dolmagus could be. I suppose there's no point crying over spilt milk. It's Dolmagus we're after. He's the one who cursed yeah. the princess and I, after all. He's the one who made us look so ridiculous. I had hoped Rylus might be able to help us locate him. But it yep, seems no more Rylus. we'll just have to track Dolmagus down by ourselves. Yeah, we'll have to track him down ourselves. We have nothing further to gain from staying here. Let's be on our way. And wait. next time, what? Please wait. Hey, it's a pretty girl. I'm sorry to come running Purple after you hair. like this. It's just that I wanted to ask and you she's a favor. Russian too. Are you not afraid of me, young lady? I. I dreamt about you. Dreamt about him? Talking I about dreamt Trude? that some people came to town with a strange creature. It was sort of halfway between a human and a monster. And That's I dreamt right. that they could make wishes come true. <laughs> what? <laughs> strange creature? Look at Yangus. Are you referring to me? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Now look at this look Trode's gonna give him. Uh oh. Look <laughs> to worry. kill her. I've had worse things now, Yang is to me just today. His nose. You know. Come on, man. You remind me of my Medea. You're about the same age. In anyway, uh, you say you had a dream about me. Most peculiar. Yeah, that is I'm rather sorry. odd. I haven't even introduced myself. Oh. I'm Valentina. Daughter of the great fortune teller Calda Rasha. If you Valentina. could just come to my house, I'll explain everything there. It's by the well at the far end of town. I'll be waiting for you. Ah, so maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll get. I don't know what the heck we're gonna what do. Was she rub in on about? Come round my house, she says. <laughs> Magnificent. What, Trude? She wasn't afraid to look at me at all. Not one bit. Oh, she reminds me of my Medea. I guess so. We must so. give this young girl a helping hand. Okay, we can help Right then, out. my boy. Go and find the house by the well and see what it is she wants. Hmm? Me? I'll wait here with the princess. We don't want to cause any more of a stir. That kind of stinks you gotta wait outside, man. I kind of feel bad you. Well, I guess you can, uh, do what you want. So let's go see Valentina, Calderash's daughter. And see what she wants. So yes, to get over there, we have to... Well, I'm kind of taking the long way. Uh, you gotta go up here. Up the stairs into the back end of town. And yeah, I don't know if it's... I'm pretty sure it's night now, because the torches outside are lit. Granted, I guess the night watch or whoever uh, lit them. But before we go over to Valentina's house, let's go get that... Tra hey! Here's a new guy. Look at him. He's Mr. Beard, shady fella. Yeah, there's a lot of been weird things going on. Let's go back in the church and grab that item. There's a certain item I want to get while I'm here. If you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then you don't know what I'm talking about. A special certain item that we won't be able to put to use quite yet, but soon enough, soon enough. Come on, go up the stairs. There we go, Kenshin. And up the ladder. Up the ladder to... Look at that. There's a piece of paper on the ground. And we get a thief's key recipe. A recipe for what? Are we going to make a thief's key casserole? I don't think so. 
Uh, that recipe will become important later in the game. We will be able to make a thief's keep. How? You're wondering. How in the world? Well, we'll have to find out. Anyways, let's keep going. Now we can go off to Valentina's house. See what's wrong with the poor girl and why she's like, My father, he needs help. I'm a Calderasha. Is her last name Calderasha? I don't even know. Anyways, let's go in. And now it's open, not locked anymore. Hooray! Yayers! Oh, look, she's sleeping. I thought she was gonna wait for us. What the frig? Well, you know what? Since you're doing that, I'm gonna check out what you got in here. Nothing. And four gold. That's it for being a, the fortune teller. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's talk to Valentina. Wake up! Uh, 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 uh. There she is. You came. Yeah, I I'm told you. I'm so we'd sorry. Come. I must have drifted off. How rude of me. Uh, I wanted to ask what? you a favor about this crystal ball. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Perhaps I should start from the beginning. Uh, sure. Start of from course. the beginning. Let me explain. Let's hear the whole story. My father, Calderasha, was once a okay. really famous fortune teller. Lost treasure, missing people. There was nothing the great Calderasha couldn't help people with. Well, isn't but that then nice? one day, he lost his powers. All of a sudden, nothing he foretold turned out to be true anymore. Oh, that stinks. It's probably because he stopped using a real crystal oh, ball. Oh, that's, this that's glass not a crystal ball, ball at all. Valentina, hey. what is going on here? How Seems many times have I about told you not to touch from Dragon my Quest crystal now. ball? Still getting drunk. What? Aren't you that boy Yeah, what brings me up? here? Why don't you, uh, what hear brings you here? Tell her, don't you know? Yeah, never mind. I do not know what my daughter has asked you. But you can forget oh, it. Boy. I do not need your help. I am fine as I am. These Russian I people in there? To bed. Stubbornness. Valentina, say your farewells and show our young visitor to the door. I do have to admit, it is pretty late, though. I'm sorry about my father. But whatever he says, he's the one who's really suffering since he lost his powers. Oh. So that's why he's being that's all That's why I wanted to ask you this favor. Can you find him a crystal ball? One that's big enough to bring back his powers? Uh, sure, I guess so. Really? You will? Oh, this is exactly how it all happened in my dream. Oh, so look far, at that. everything's come true. We're helping her I figure out stuff. I also dreamt that there's a crystal ball hidden deep inside the cave. Under the big waterfall cave to, to the, the south, south of town. I suppose only the daughter of the great Calderasha could know a thing like that. I guess so. So, now we have our first quest of the game is... Go to the waterfall cave south of town and find the crystal ball for Calderasha. Which is cool, because now we can show you, I can show you outside. Which is the awesomest part of this entire game, I think. Ooh, monster behavior. Yep. Monsters are stronger at night than they are in the morning. Granted, I don't know what the, how stronger, but whatever. Hmm, anything else over here? Hey, buddy. Shouldn't you be going to find Martha, saving her, you know, raising a cool old kid with a purple, uh, purple turban and stuff? Anyways, we're basically done here, so let's, uh, hopefully I can get outside of town and then we can head off to that waterfall cave. So let's see, can we go out the front gate? Let's see here, front gate. Oh, come on. 
so we'll have to head out the back way. But our first adventure will have to wait until the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913. Bye-bye.